Hey, this is Arden with the West Central Montana Avalanche Center. We're out here at Lolo Pass, just above NASCAR Hill, and we came out here today primarily for some snowmobile training, but we did get a chance to take a quick look at the snowpack and dig a quick pit. And what we're finding today is that there's still really thin conditions and many shallowly buried hazards out there. We're waiting for more snow, fingers crossed. Additionally, it's really warm out on southerly aspects. Things are warming up and we're getting some uh, melt freeze crust developing at the surface. And at northerly aspects, things are still remaining mostly cold and dry. Um, we dug a pit on a northeast aspect and we found multiple buried weak layers. There's a layer of buried facets near the ground and a buried layer of surface hoar. The layer of facets uh, produced a propagating result in an extended column test which means that it is possible for you to trigger an avalanche on that layer. And if you were to trigger an avalanche on that layer, it would be quite large and consequential. So before you step out onto any um, consequential steeper slopes, be sure to dig down and look for a poor snowpack structure with a slab above a weak layer. Skiing ride safe.